right, guys, as we get closer to the freshman All-American Bowl down in Naples, we want to take time. We've been meeting a lot of the athletes, but now it's time to talk a little bit about our coaches. And we're excited to introduce the head coach of Team Adi Zero, Joe Taylor. Coach, how are you? And thanks for coming on. Oh, fantastic, Joe. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. So, Coach Taylor, tell us a little bit about you, kind of your coaching. Let us get to know the man behind the whistle. Okay. Well, I've I've been uh, very fortunate to be able to coach at pretty much every level of, uh, of football up to the high school ranks. I, I have, I've coached youth, youth league. I've coached at the middle school. And then I've, I've also been a varsity head coach um, here in Kentucky. Um, it's I guess I've been coaching for, I hate to even say it, but 20 plus years now. So, so uh, um, I think the gray hair speaks for itself as far as that goes. But, uh, yeah, it's just been a fantastic experience for me uh, coaching um, all those different age groups and, uh, and then got to top it off and coach down in uh, in Naples. It, it, we used to do it, of course, down in San Antonio. Yeah. Uh, but now it's been that fantastic new facility down in Naples. Oh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be great there. So obviously you've been around it for a long time. What is something that that excites you about working with the athletes we have on the roster this year? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, it's getting close to Christmas time for so like a coach. I mean, it's like a it's like a kid on Christmas with what we uh, what we get when we get down there and start working with those quarterbacks and those D linemen and these guys that uh, are all just top notch. And, uh, you know, FBU really does not only does a good job with the athletic talent that they find, but the character of these kids is is just someone that you want to be part of your team, no matter what their skill level would be. Now, the skill level is obviously very high. But just as well-rounded individuals, and just guys that are that are very uh, focused and want to be successful, at, uh, not only athletically but academically. Um, you know, it's just it's just a great bunch of young men to be involved with. It is, and, and over the years, you know, whether it was the predecessor of the East Bay Youth All American Bowl, now it's the you know Adidas and a freshman All American Bowl game, and uh, the the amount of alum that have come through this program and where they are now, whether it's playing in the NFL or elite college, are just great men uh, running around. It, it's been fun to watch some of these kids come through this program. Oh, absolutely! It's it's amazing the. Uh the quality of, of, of not only the players, but like you say, the, the, the men that come through is just, it's second to none, honestly. Awesome, Coach. Well, we've got the draft coming up uh, later this week, so we're going to have some fun uh, a lot figuring out who exactly are going to be on uh, Team Adi Zero and get to go with a little bit. But uh, it's been great. I've been able to interview myself and Matt uh, Lauer. have been able to interview some of the athletes that are going to come down there. So uh, we're certainly excited and look forward to seeing you down in the Paradise Coast. Well, thank you very much. It's going to be a great time. Um, three strike for life, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Coach. We'll see you there. Okay, thank you. Okay, excited to welcome another coach of our FBU Freshman uh, All-American Bowl, Coach Grant Lewis. Coach, welcome, and tell us a bit about uh, what's looking forward to in, in Naples. Yeah, Joe, thanks for having me on. Uh, looking forward to my fourth year down in Naples for the All-American Bowl and the National Championship, obviously. Uh, no one does it better than FBU. And uh, looking forward to coaching and evaluating some of the top talent in the country. Uh, like I said, no one does it better than FBU. So the top tier athletes are always down there every winter. And uh, four years in a row, can't ask for much more in beautiful Naples either. Well, I know you've been down there, but for those who don't know Coach Grant Lewis, tell us a bit about yourself and, and how you've been involved with FBU over the years. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm a graduate of Butler University. I played there. I coached there as well. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. And uh, after I graduated from Butler University, uh, went on, started my coaching career as a D coordinator and then as a head coach my second year out of school at uh, Franklin Central High School, which is a bigger school on the southeast side of uh, Indianapolis. Matt Lauer, uh, who works for FBU, obviously, came and uh, started evaluating some of our kids and uh, inviting some kids to the combine. And uh, we kind of hit it off from there and uh, was fortunate enough to get an invite down to Naples for my first year and ever since uh, anything and everything I can possibly do to get FBU camps at our school we just hosted the regional round for the central region at our school in Franklin Central but uh, really bringing a presence to the Midwest is kind of our goal so uh, that's how I've been involved and luckily with Steve and Eric and everybody they keep inviting me down and uh, it's a blast every single year. Well, fantastic. Well, we appreciate everything you do with us uh, here at FBU. What, uh, you know, what's the one thing you love and really look forward to every year? Obviously, you coach high school level, you've coached a little bit at the collegiate level. What's something unique about working with our freshman All-Americans? 
Um, I think what the, shocked me the most the first year was just the level of talent and the size of the players. I mean, I'm a head football coach in Indianapolis, Indiana, and those freshmen are bigger than some kids we see that are seniors and more athletic and more talented. And uh, the most special thing about it is just how all the kids from across the country come together to play in this game. And within four days, they create a family atmosphere and how close all the coaches are, despite how many miles separate us. And uh, in those four days, you create that family bond. I mean, being my fourth year, I'm finally starting to see some kids like Landon Wat Watson and Bryce Foster and uh, Preston Stone, who are getting ready to sign big time uh, college commitment scholarships. And uh, I'm really excited to see him play at the next level and continue on in the NFL. But uh, to create that connection for when they're 13, 14 years old as freshmen is what makes it really, really special. And uh, staying in touch with them has been one of the best pieces of all of it. It is. That's, that's the kind of unique uh, aspect of our role here over the years of FBU as we've grown, whether it be from the camps, the national championship, or obviously the freshman All-American Bowl game is the amount of athletes that we've been able to identify and really showcase before they've really hit it big, and then they do. And they hit it big, and next thing you know, they're playing on Sundays and getting drafted, and it's uh, it's great that we were part of that recipe of their success. So uh, exactly. Coach Lewis, man, we'll follow him on Twitter at Coach Lewis 46 for all those out there, and uh, we look forward to having you down in Naples. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it, Joe. Looking forward to it. Thanks. Our next coach on the huddle is no other than former NFL pro Chad Spann. Coach, how are you? What's going on? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me. Oh, our pleasure, man. We're looking forward to having you down in Naples. Tell us, Coach, tell us a little bit about, you know, kind of your coaching experience. I know you had an NFL career a little bit. Um, tell us a little bit about it so we can uh, get to know you a little bit better as, as we head into Naples. Well, I, uh, I played running back at uh, Northern Illinois University, uh, went on from there and uh, played uh, five years professionally uh, for about five different teams in the NFL. Um, had a lot of fun doing that. Got to move around, see a lot of parts, different parts of the world, um, playing ball. And then I've uh, since then I've retired and I've been coaching high school football. I am the offensive coordinator at uh, Warren Central High School in Indianapolis. Fantastic. Now. You're involved with FBU. Just got wrapping up kind of the first round of the FBU National Championship Series as team director for Indiana. And now mm -hmm. you're heading down to, to Naples to help us with, I think you're coaching on team three strike. Is that correct? Is that where yes. you're, you're yes. assigned? Awesome. And yep. uh, tell us a little bit about what you're looking forward to with working with these uh, elite athletes down in Naples. Uh, I mean, that's just it, man. I'm looking forward to uh, getting down there and working with these, with these ball players, these young guys who have, um, obviously been very, very impressive. Um, we got our list last night of uh, who's on our roster. So I've gotten to uh, hop on their huddles and see see them play a little bit. And I'm, I'm extremely uh, excited to to get down there and play with these, or coach these guys. Um, we even have actually a kid from, two kids from Indianapolis on this team. Uh, one kid from my high school who played in my offense this year. And then uh, another quarterback that I work with in another organization that I, that I am, uh, that I'm with. Um, so I'm extremely excited to see the Indiana boys down there and, and, and everybody else compete at a high level. Okay, so quick time out. I probably should have warned you. So we're going to film, we filmed the draft last night oh. and it's going to after the show. So this is like a lead up to the draft. So what I'll do is I'll kind of snip that and you can say, yeah, I'm working with, uh, I'll kind of read you as you're working with three stripe. Um, just, we can start over if you want to. Yeah, and then we'll just, we'll just kind of, you know, go from there. I'll just start off with your involvement with FBU and then okay. kind of work from there. So certainly you can talk about your players that are going, but we just sure. don't want to talk about who's on what team. Who's yet. On what team. Gotcha. Missouri, the draft hasn't happened until it goes live tomorrow night. Gotcha. My bad. That's right. So, Coach, you're involved with FBU. You know, obviously you're the team director for Team Indiana for our FBU National Championship coming off of uh, – first weekend of, of rounds ones and two. What else uh, have you looking forward to kind of heading down to Naples? Man, I'm really looking forward to getting down there and, uh, you know, seeing these these, these talented freshmen uh, go at it. I know I've got uh, one of my players from my high school who will be playing in this game, as well as uh, another kid I work with uh, in my, another football organization that I'm, that I'm with. So uh, just getting down there, seeing the athletes, um, seeing, seeing, uh, some, some big time football from Texas, from Florida, from, you know, all over the country come together and, and really compete at a high level. Now, have you ever been in, obviously you've been at elite level, but have you really coached this much talent, potentially this much talent pool at one spot, or is it really get, getting fired up to, to have at it? 
Um, I don't think I've coached this much talent uh, all together. I've, I've been around some really, really, really good kids. Uh, uh, a Army All-American a couple years ago, David Bell, is a, mm -hmm. uh, who plays for Purdue. He was a kid that uh, I coached in high school. I was his offensive coordinator in high school, and he's you know having a tremendous career so far in his first two years. So I've been around some good kids, but not, I don't think I've been around this many. So I'm extremely excited to, uh, to, to see this team and see these teams and, and see these kids play. Awesome. Well, I think we're, you know, three stripe is good. Lucky to have you on their sidelines. We'll find out tonight who exactly the athletes are that you're going to be coaching as we unveil the draft uh, a little bit later tonight. So coach Span, thanks so much for taking a few minutes as your busy schedule. We'll look forward to seeing you down in Naples. I hey, appreciate of you having me. No problem. All right, guys, here with Coach Low Wood out of Florida, who's working on our three-stripe team. Excited to have Coach part of our story. Coach, tell us a little bit about your football career and uh, how you got involved with FBU. Oh, man, it's, it's a, a pleasure and an honor. Thank you for having me on. Um, I'm one of the guys that had always had that passion of coaching, so uh, I did have an opportunity to, to go on and play football at a school called Northeast Oklahoma a and um, I was paid to go to Oklahoma, but I had that injury. And that injury set me on a path of coaching. I always said when I was 18 years old, I'm going to be a businessman and a coach. And today, no, uh, that's what I am. So uh, I'm very excited about that. And then my coaching career and winning 10 national championships in track and field and football, hey, I'm excited. And now I've got another opportunity of being part of FBU. Um, I had an opportunity of taking one of my sons to a camp. That was a great camp, a great opportunity for youth. And I was an opportunity for him. Uh, met the guys uh, that's running FBU, and um, and I had an opportunity of being part of what they're doing, and and for the last two years now, uh, things have been going uphill, and, and I'm very excited about it. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Well, we're happy to have you. So, what are some of the things you're looking forward to uh, this um, down in Naples for the freshman All American Bowl? The, the number one thing I'm looking forward to is see the kids get better on the field. That's the biggest thing. Watch the kids get some real good training, some real good coaching. And that's the biggest thing uh, when it comes to all-star games, especially games like the FBU, Freshman All-American game. You know, how can the kids go to the next level? How can they take one thing from this camp that they can, that can help them follow their career? You know, from high school to college, and hopefully one day their dream will come true and play in the NFL. Well, that's awesome. Well, we're excited to have you. We know you bring uh, some great passion and energy, and we're looking forward to having you work with these kids here. And we're going to find out who you get to coach. Later tonight, we'll have the draft, and we'll find out which athletes are going to have the pleasure of working with you, Coach. Well, you know what? I'm excited to work with them, and you better believe when they work with me, they're going to be fired up. They're going to be ready to go. They're going to be getting that grind. And, and my favorite word is, they better get ready to burn, baby, burn. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Coach. We're going to be doing it down in Naples style. So, awesome. Now, we'll see you down there, and thanks. Appreciate your time. Oh, uh, thanks for having me. Perfect. All right. Excited to be joined by a great quarterback coach, Anthony Morelli. Coach, welcome, and uh, how are we doing tonight? Doing great. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. And we are excited as we're leading up to the 2020 Freshman All-American Bowl game. Tell us a little bit about, you know, you, your kind of playing coaching background, and then we'll get into what, what's making you tick for uh, down in Naples. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, I played college ball at Penn State, and I wanted to play a little bit and, uh, for the Arizona Cardinals, and then I bounced around and played some arena football and uh, did a little bit in, in the UFL, and then I opened up a business uh, about 10 years ago now. I've been training quarterbacks ever since, so I'm just really excited to get down there and work with some of the best in the country. Well, that's awesome, and I know we're down at Top Gun and, and some of the other camps a little bit. What is something you, you kind of hinted on a little bit? What's something that's really excites you about coming down and, and working with these elite freshmen? I mean, when you get a chance to, to work with some of the elite guys um, at a young age and make an impact on, on them and their, their playing career, I think that's uh, – that's pretty important, and, and, you know, one of the things that I like to do is, is, is work with the young guys, you know, try to create good habits so that way they're off to a, to a good start uh, in, their, in their high school career. Well, that's perfect. And, and, again, this is a great platform to see some of the elite kids that are the class of 2024. We've seen some of these guys go up, become some of the top recruited athletes out of the country, playing the, the formerly Army All-American Bowl game, now the All-American Bowl game on NBC. And it's, it's kind of exciting to see the kind of talent there. Now, I think they got you matched up with uh, Team Adi Zero this coming season. We're going to find out later tonight kind of what players now you're really going to be working with. But I think you got one of your kids that you personally train is coming down anyway, right? 
Absolutely. Yeah. Danny O'Neill was selected for it. I've been training him for, for a long time now. So I know he's fired up and excited to be a part of this just, just as well as I am. So uh, just, just can't wait to get down there and get after it, man. Awesome. Well, it's got a couple of weeks away. We're going to be down in Naples and uh, having a grand old time. So we're excited you're part of the staff and we look forward to seeing what, uh, what athletes are going to be down there and, and coaching them up a little bit. Yeah. Super excited. Can't wait. And uh, really looking forward to it. Perfect coach. Great. We'll see you down in Naples. Sounds good. See you then. All right. As we prepare for the FBU Freshman All-American Bowl, we welcome Coach Cliff Greer to the broadcast. Coach, how are we doing? Doing good, Joe. How you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic. I'm excited for what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Coach, tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, obviously, which team you're going to be coaching down there, what positions, and then a little bit about your uh, your coaching story. All right, man. I'm, I'm going to be the defensive coordinator and defensive line coach for uh, Team Three Strike. Um, my background, I started in Pop Warner about 10 years ago for the Naples Gators. Um, that's where I met Steve Quinn. I've known him for, for, you know, for a long time. Um, I was actually with him at the first FBU camp in Miami. We were there, when, you know, when they were kind of operating out of the back of a box truck. It was really cool to see how much the organization has grown over the last decade. Um, so I started with Pop Warner for about three years, um, moved over to high school. So then I was at Naples High School, started off coaching freshmen, um, freshman linebackers, and then freshman defensive coordinator. Um, I've been moved up to varsity, um, and I was defensive line coach on varsity for three years and uh, college recruiting coordinator. And two years ago, I, got, I was promoted to, to um, co-defensive coordinator at Naples High School, and I've been doing that um, ever since for the last two seasons. Fantastic. Well, that's a great program there. We've had a lot of FBU uh, freshman All-Americans come out of Naples and even a couple of the uh, okay. All-Americans. So what is something you're looking forward to? Obviously, it's right in your hometown. Yes, sir. Uh, the FBU Youth all, Freshman All American Bowl game right in the Naples with the new Paradise Comp Paradise Coast Complex. Well, what's something you're looking forward to getting around these athletes? Um, you know, when when you're around so many good kids at the same time, I just want to see who really came down here to actually try and compete. Um, you know, when you get everybody that's operating at a high level, you know, the thing that excites me the most when you get you know a lot of those kids together at the same time is who really wants to stand out, who's really trying to make a name for themselves, who, who's really down there to try and compete and be the and be the best of the best. That's awesome. That's one thing we look for. I and mean, that's that's why we kind of, you know, built this, you know, like the, the kind of the mini, you know, All-American Bowl game on NBC every year. Kind of just let's tease these kids a little bit and see what it's going to be like. And and can we really showcase these kids at such an early age? Well, I know it's it's a fantastic amount of talent that we're going to bring down there. We're excited to have you calling a call on the plays on the defensive side for three stripe. And we'll find out later tonight who you're going to be coaching. All right, Joe. Thank you. Also, appreciate your time. I'm excited. Excited to welcome one of our O-line coaches to the show. We have Coach Frank Tofferbaum coming in from Florida. Coach, how are we doing? Doing well today. How are you? Fantastic. Fantastic. So, Coach, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell the, the viewers, that uh, the families that are coming down uh, to Naples, a little bit about you, your, your playing, coaching, career experience a little bit, and what you're bringing to Naples. Yeah, uh, I started uh, playing college. I played college football at Audubon University in, in Ohio. And then from there, I uh, went to Rutgers and got a master's degree. Uh, I've been coaching offense and defensive line for about 10 years now. This will be my fourth year at the uh, FBU All-American game for the freshmen, coaching with Anthony Williams and everyone else on the staff. Um, it's going to be a good time. I mean, hopefully we learn a lot. But mainly, I just want the kids to have a good time and, and enjoy their time here in Naples and showcase uh, what their talents are. Now, speaking of showcasing, obviously you're, you know, homegrown uh, Naples there, there. What do you think about this complex? Are you kind of excited to get in there and uh, be one of the first events to be showcased at the, that new stadium? Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, you know, I was there for uh, the Top Gun camp when we did the Top Gun earlier this year and the field, the, the stadium wasn't quite ready, but, um, you know, it's ready to go for Monday night and uh, it's going to be exciting to get out there and, and see what uh, the beautiful city of Naples has to offer everyone coming down. Uh, we're excited. And now now it's a unique experience to be coaching as part of, as you know, part of this uh, freshman All-American Bowl. What is something that you look forward to in regards to the talent level coming in from across the country, maybe compared to your high school and where you're coaching now? Um, so the last – I started doing this four years ago, and it was it was a, quite a shock to see some of the um, some of the talent that they brought down, especially coming in as a freshman – I think the first year I coached, you know, I'm not a little guy. I'm 6'2", 280, and, and the offensive line that we had, I was the smallest guy out there between 14-year-olds. So yeah, yeah, pretty exciting to see that. And then it, it's great working with talent. Um, 
you know, I coach at Palmetto Ridge High School down here, and, you know, we just uh, took our team to the best record we ever had and went to uh, the fourth, third or fourth round of the playoffs this year. So That's it's great. fun to be working with talent. And we've had quite a few – we've had about four kids from my team alone that have played in this freshman All-American game uh, in the past couple of years as well. So it, it's exciting. It is, and it's great to see all that talent come together, especially at that young age. And then maybe the next time they, that much talent is on one field, it's maybe in, you know, San Antonio – at the uh, All-American Bowl on NBC every year. So yeah. it, it's, a, it's a great stepping stone for these guys. Well, we're excited, you know, to have you back, you know, working with our guys in the trenches. I think you are with, you know, um, Team Three Stripe, working yep. with there with Coach Williams on his staff. And yep. uh, we're going to find out later tonight who those players are once we reveal the draft. So it's some exciting times to come. So, Coach, appreciate you stopping by. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in April in a couple of days. Absolutely. I'll be down here waiting to go. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. It's coming on the FBU huddle tonight is Jermaine Washington. Coach will be working with the Adi Zero team. So coach, welcome and say hello to uh, are your FBU fans out there. Hey, how everybody doing out there? Uh, I just appreciate the opportunity being here and the opportunity to be here, like you said. I had to repeat that because I'm really excited. Awesome. Well, we're excited to have you. So tell yeah. us a little bit about, you know, maybe your playing and your coaching background, and then we'll get into, you know, how fired up we are to to, uh, to work with some of these athletes. Okay. Um. Well, I'll start with I'm born and raised in Naples, Florida, um, which is pretty cool for me. Um, playing wise, I started at Naples Gators. There was no FBU back in the, back in the days. There was Paul Warner that was really huge. Um. Mm -hmm. So we we're on the national radar for so for this stuff to be going on right now is really awesome. Um, also play for Naples High um, about three years. Um, played as a, a receiver slash running back type of situation. Um, 01, I was a sophomore in the state championship team as a wide receiver. And oh, went back funny. in 03. Um, a crazy story. Uh, Kramer comes to me like two weeks before a season. And he's like, oh, yeah, my nickname's Pudgy. So he <laughs> comes to me two weeks before. He's like, oh, you got a little bigger, da, da, da. And we had some situations, so you move me to running back. So, long, uh, sh long story short, I uh, ended up going to States that year. Um, ended up getting a scholarship to JUCO, Dodge City Community College. Got there by a year and a half. Um, came back home, helped my parents out. Then I ended up getting a Division three offer in Bethany College, which was an awesome experience. Um, so, I, I got college experience, which was awesome. Um, and then I went to, um, as in the coaching, um, a great guy named Al Green and asked me if I want to coach. So that's kind of how I got into the coaching game. Um, St. Awesome. John Newman is where I started out at um, as a track coach. Then I got to meet Coach Molino, asked me to come out for football, um, great experience. And after that, um, went to Palmetto, coached with Coach T. Uh, I was a defensive back coach that year, so that was fun. Uh, had so many players at that time. And, um, and then <laughs> crazy Kramer calls me up, and he's like, you, you know, got to open it for you. I was like, man, I can't turn that down, man. You know, so many coaches on that staff. Yeah, I couldn't turn it down. Um, going back to, to me, I like to honor coaches all the time. From I think I'm coaching with Ron Byington, which is cool. Uh, he was my special team coach at the time, coach back at the time. Um, coach Horn, Coach Dollar was there, Kramer's there, Saw Chuck came back, a couple older guys. I was there, so that's like 20 years experience. So I was like, I gotta take the job. And um, so that happened for two years. And in this past year, I just uh, a couple of weeks ago, Golf Coast High School. Um, okay. I coached wide receivers out there, so that's a good experience. Um, had a good play out there, so a lot of coaches sparing, learn from great coaches, and just taking what um, taking what I learned from them. And, so now taking uh, all that experience of both you know playing at the collegiate level and now all the years of experience of coaching, what are you looking most forward to in working with these elite freshmen coming in? Just showing what I got. Just like I'm pretty sure they're trying to show me what they got. Um, you know, this is the FBU is huge. These guys are getting nationally ranked. I, I follow all on Twitter, try to retweet as much as I can. And um, I mean, it's elite talent. You know, I mean, you got to you get invited to have camps all over the nation. So to get a chance to uh, talk to Steve Quinn, you know, appreciate him. And uh, he reached out and he's like, oh, what side you want to coach? I said, no, I don't even care. I'm just happy to coach the running back. And, uh, you know, they win games for you, man. So, you know, who, 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 who we got some coming at you. You know, we're going to have our draft a little bit later today after this coach's 
uh, intro show. Okay. And, uh, we'll see what 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 of those superstar running backs we got that are going to trickle onto your uh, to your team, and you're going to have a little say with it. And I'll tell you what, it's fun too because you know you're 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 going to build some relation with these young men, yep. and then you're going to see in two or three years you're going to be knocking on the door for the All American Bowl game on NBC, and then we'll be watching them on TV uh, both on Saturday and on Sunday with wow. a lot of kids here. So it's uh it, it's an exciting piece to be part of. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, uh, just to be a part of it. Um, you just told me a little bit more about that. I mean, that makes me more give me chills that I'm blessed to be an opportunity in this position. Um, so I'm glad I took the opportunity just to meet you, have an um, interview with you. But <laughs> when you said that, I'm like, you know, that's that's great, man. I'm, I'm blessed to be here. I mean, if you look at some of these kids that have come back, and I've been blessed with, along with Steve and Eric, to be part of this almost, you know, since its inception. I think I joined FBU their second or third year when they had the East Bay Youth All-American Bowl. And we had, you know, the Christian McCaffrey's at seventh grade. And I can tell you he was going to be as good as he is now back then. Uh, the Sonny Michelle's. I mean, there's so many kids that have come through that, that, that not only, you know, had great college careers, great programs, but now are professionals. You know, so it's, uh, you know, Brandon Dawkins over there at Adidas is now one of our partners. And he was one of our our uh, first uh, youth All-Americans. So, you know, it, it's just great to see these kids and build a relationship and, and see where they go in 10, 15 years since we've been doing this. So uh, I'm excited that you're going to be part of our staff. Uh, love to have you there. You know, I think we're excited with, you know, being a, a native um, uh, Naples. Yeah, there you go. No, uh, good. I'll, I'll help you. <laughs> um, the whole new sports complex. I mean, so many guys are just excited that are that are local from there that are excited that this is going to be opening up the stadium there and and really what it's going to look like. And this is something that uh, I know Steve and Eric and we all here at FBU have dreamed about, and it's coming to fruition. And we're going to be there to cut the ribbons and uh, uh, christen that field a little bit with some good solid football. Wow, wow, yeah, I, I think it's um, I mean, me being a Naples kid. And- Watching Naples Gators all my life as a kid because I didn't play football to eighth grade. Um, gives kids opportunity, you know what I mean? And, Absolutely. You know, um, just set goals a little bit more higher. You know, from coaching kids the last couple of years, I think what you guys are doing is awesome for the community. Uh, I just wanted to personally tell you that, and Steve and everybody who's a part of it because I don't know everyone yet. Um, but as a kid, I'm like, I went out there to a pot winner game uh, and I seen the field. I was like, man, this is amazing. I was yeah. like. You know, 2020, you know, it's not always bad. You know what I mean? People got to look at it. A lot of things are positive out there. And what you guys are doing is giving kids hope, man. You know what I mean? And give them something to do and look forward to and compete and put their family in part of and bring the community together and build relationships, put God first. A lot of stuff like that, like you said. And uh, I, I just really appreciate you just hit me up and about this whole interview thing. I was like, oh, let's go. Well, we've been getting the players. You know, we, we had over oh, close to 900 nominees. Wow. Across- Country for the class of 24, you know, <laughs> some, is some great athletes. Yeah. Very slim margin between, you know, number 60 and number 61 and number 62 and so forth, just like it is at, at the collegiate level and the pro level when you're putting together these games. And uh, uh, it, it's exciting that we've got all these kids coming in. We've got the 60 best. And uh, it, it's been a lot of fun putting it together. So we're excited you're going to be on the sideline with Team Audi Zero. And uh, we appreciate you giving a little bit of time to come in. Uh, we spent a few, you know, other previous FBU huddles, breaking the kids down, meeting, interviewing the athletes, breaking their film down, why they've been selected. We've got our draft coming up. So it's 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 getting there. We're ready for kickoff soon. Yeah, I know. He's getting close. So, you know, it's time to go, man. You know, Absolutely. Well, Coach, I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your night to come in and join us. And uh, we look forward to coming to your hometown and having some fun in Naples. Joe, Enjoy. nice to meet you. Appreciate everything, opportunity, everything. You have a great night. You too, Coach. Bye. Bye. All right. Excited to be welcoming Coach Andre Powell in for this year's uh, FBU Freshman All-American. Coach, how are you doing? I'm doing incredible. Uh, this is always a great time of year to participate in a football all-star game, especially the greatest one, the All-American game here in Naples, Florida. That's awesome. So, Coach, tell the viewers a little bit about yourself, how you got involved with FBU, kind of maybe your coaching experience, and then we'll get into what, what's exciting you to be down in uh, in Naples coaching the athletes. Yeah, well, a little bit about myself. I grew up in Pennsylvania, South Central Pennsylvania, playing this great sport of football. I knew by the time I was 10, 11 years of age, I, I wanted to just be a football player and be a great football player. 
I don't know if great ever made it, but um, I, I felt I maxed out on my ability. Um, was fortunate enough to um, um, be healthy enough and also smart enough academically to make the right sacrifice. And I earned a football scholarship to Penn State University and played for the all-time wins leader, Coach Joe Paterno. Yep. And um, I went in the uh, eighth round. That tells you how long ago when I came out in 1992, was drafted by the Miami Dolphins. Had a chance to play the Eagles, the uh, New York Giants. And um, after that, um, I went on to do some different business things, but also stay close to coaching. Um, coaching varsity football in Pennsylvania, um, in Wisconsin. And when I moved here to Naples, Florida a couple of years ago, I got involved in uh, some sports performance as well as um, coaching some youth programs around here. Fantastic. Well, we are excited to have your resume with us down here coaching our, our elite uh, freshmen. Uh, what is something that you're looking forward to when working with these kids that, that are coming in from all over the country? Um, the great thing about um, this this platform, and this is going to be my fourth uh, campaign um, at this game, and without a doubt, all the athletes come in wanting to be coached. They want to learn. You know, obviously they come here, they want to measure themselves. But the great thing that I enjoy is the fact that they're coachable to be as talented and skilled and many of them already have offers or they're getting college interest to see these young men still wanting to learn and to be coachable. So I'm looking forward to the next group of young men, meeting them uh, here in Naples shortly and imparting a little bit of my knowledge, as well as learning from the other coaches and what they're doing and how the game continues to um, um, morph into a sport that's unlike it was just a year or two ago. So. Uh, those are just a couple of things that I look forward to in this all-star game. Well, I'm sure that the, the D-line players that are you're going to be coaching with, I think you're on Adi's team, Adi Zero, and uh, you're going to be excited. I think they're going to be just excited, and we're going to find out exactly who those young men are you're going to be coaching in a little bit later when we have the draft here later tonight. So, Coach Powell, thanks so much for giving us a few minutes of your day, and uh, we look forward to seeing you down there in the Paradise Coast. All right, thank you. Now joining us on the show, we have Coach Ron Byington coming in from Naples, Florida. And Coach, welcome to the FBU Huddle. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thank you for having me. So Coach, tell our viewers a little bit that may not know, you know, your background, kind of your expertise in coaching, just a little bit about yourself, and then we'll get into what's getting you fired up to, to coach our All-Americans. All right. Well, I've, uh, I coach currently at Naples High School. I've been there for 18 years. Uh, prior to coming into the high school, I was uh, a Pop Warner coach for many, many years and um, had a uh, had some very good teams, was able to win a national championship in 1996 with the Naples Gators. And uh, so we staying busy, love coaching. That's fantastic. And you got some great talent coming in out of there, not only your youth program there, but also at the high school. We've had many of our alumni, both from the youth all freshman All-American Bowl, as well as uh, the Army or All-American Bowl game on NBC uh, have come through Naples High School for years there. So, you know, obviously being a native um, Floridian and obviously right there in the hometown of, of Naples, what's really exciting you about this new big facility that they're building out there for uh, what, what's getting you fired up with with uh, with that construction going on down there? Well, it's, it's an incredible facility. Uh, went out there when they hosted the uh, Top Gun here uh, a few months back. And it's just an incredible, it's got everything you can imagine uh, on the grounds right there to host everything that you need. And it's, it's state of the art. Uh, it's just it's actually, uh, it's a beautiful facility. Now, Coach, knowing the great athletes that come in and out of your program and some you see down in Southwest Florida, what really gets you excited as a coach when working with all this great talent coming in from all over the country? It's it's exciting to see them. Number one, to see the the athleticism and such these young bodies and these guys coming out and, and doing what they do, what they've worked on, and uh, you know, as a coach, it's really quite easy. You just the the biggest thing you have to keep yourself from doing, I think, is just don't overcoach it. Just lay the basic technique work that you want to focus on and let the guys play. And uh, that's and I love the the competition is uh, is exciting. And, and to be quite honest, in the years I've been doing this, the the humbleness of these kids that come in, uh, you know, they're very humble. They, you know, very easy to work with and they're very coachable. Oh, that's great. And that's one of the things. Now, I think from a coaching standpoint, you've been assigned to time to team Adi Zero, uh, work with linebackers. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Awesome. We're going to find out later tonight. We have our draft 
exactly which athletes will be in your position group, but I know we've got some excellent linebackers coming in. I'd like to bring the wood and, and pretty intense hitters coming in from, uh, from across the country. So, Coach, we appreciate your time. We look forward to coming down to your hometown in a couple of days, and uh, we will see you in Naples uh, just in a few weeks. Yes, sir. We're ready to roll. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you. You betcha. Thank you, sir. So there you have it, folks. We've wrapped up our, our huddles. We've got one more episode to go, which is the big one. It is the draft. Which players, which All-Americans are going to be playing on Adi Zero's team and which ones are going to be on three-strike team? It's been a great run. We've interviewed. We've learned the process of how these All-Americans are selected. We got to meet some of these All-Americans. We got to break down their film. We just met some of the coaches. So now it's all put it together, and now it's about time to figure out who is going to be on which team, battling across the, the LOS, the line of scrimmage for, from each other, and having a grand old time down in Naples, Florida. Make sure you like and subscribe to our Football University channel. That way you don't miss when we start off on this. But more importantly, you will not miss the actual kickoff on Monday, December 21st, 6 p.m., right here on the Football University YouTube channel. We're going to be live from Naples, Florida at the Paradise Sports Complex. It's going to be awesome. The best talent in the class of 2024. Don't miss it. Like and subscribe. We are out.